Good morning. Day 10, day 11. Uh, we've got up early to try and uh, beat the possible storm coming. Uh, we saw about five minutes. It's 5 a.m. so catch you on trail when it's a bit later. Bye. Just shine your torch and take it off. Just sit, sorry, one more. Thanks. We're at 7,745 feet. I don't know if you can see anything. It's five to six in the morning. Down there we can't, but you won't be able to see it. <coughs> and if you can see, we're heading up there. See, but okay, we've just reached Col de Brevent at 2,368 meters. This is looking away, which we'll get a better view of from in a minute. And there you are, there she is, Mont Blanc still. Anyway, catch you later when it's a bit more light. This is what the train's like on the other side. We're heading up there, as you can see. Completely rocky terrain. But awesome, huh? Good you meet. It's a view looking away from uh, Mont Blanc Massive. So much more rocky. And we've just come through, through like a boulder field. And we're going up here somewhere. So. We're getting everything this morning. Like Got the snow tops there. The Red Rock Mountain. The rainbow. And <laughs> looks like one of those, um, what do you call it? You know the beams for the, yeah, for the nightclubs? You know the, uh, which shoot? The lasers. Yeah, the lasers. Looks like a laser, doesn't it? Awesome. Very pretty. Some more ladders. Look at that. An ibis there. Uh, what are we at? About 24, uh, 2450 meters, aren't we? Yeah. Look at that. How cute. Come up this way, Paul. It's easier. Hey? This way is easier. Okay. Stunning. And up there, just over yonder. It's coffee time! Catch you the coffee! Got to the monument. Look at that! Could have taken a road up. Spectacular, huh? Absolutely love it. My last climb. They've got a horrendous downhill coming, apparently. Extremely steep. On this terrain, it means one thing. Striver goes slow. Let's just hope the weather holds off to get me past real bad stuff. Oh, what an amazing feeling. Couldn't have done it without that fella. He's been awesome. Back on a minute, we're just on the corner. A little bit of snow walking to the top. I hope that's all I gotta do. There we are. At 8,385 feet, might give you a 360. Mont Blanc, to, can't see the, the summit because of the cloud cover. There's a cable car right up to here. That's where we camped last night. So come all the way up here.
come up on this rock face here on the other side and through there. So I can get up here and look. And we come down and over, went down through there and up through here. That's a 360 and from now on it's, I think we've got, uh, looking at this it's 1300, no it's 1500 meters of downhill descent and then this Tour de Mont Blanc is finished for me, completed it. So I don't have to see another hill or climb for a while I can tell you that. Anyway, I'll show you some sights down on the trail. All the way down now. Later. Bye. Trails just uh, switch back into. Uh, it's not so not so bad. You can see it goes down and around up along there, and then down over the other side. In about 30 minutes, we'll be at the refuge. So first uh, first point, a little tarn. We made it to the refuge, which is at 8:35, which was the plan. Get it before the rains come. And it's on its way because it started spitting on our back as soon as coming down. Didn't realise how big Chamonix was. And somewhere here was our campground on the first day we arrived. As you can see, you can't see, but over there, you see how black it is. In the rain, so we was hoping the rain was coming the other side of it, but it looks like it's gonna come through here first. So. I don't know how much I'll be able to show you of our descent, as, as you can see, with the weather's caught us up. And at the moment, it's only rain, we've come from up there from that refuge, and uh, that's what the trail's looking like at the moment. It's uh, favorable switchbacks, we can only see as far as there, so. I'll let you know what it's like later. See, I can't see the mountains no more. The peaks. So, it's just going to get worse. But luckily, we got the up and over before it all come, which was actually the plan. The plan was to get when we heard, the first weather report we heard was to get to the refuge here before the bad weather come in. So, and we got there, and it started to rain just so we got there. So, mission accomplished. Anyway, catch you in a bit. Bye. Well, as you can guess, I'm uh, in a hotel. I'm off the mountain. Um, I didn't do any video today after well, after the last one. Basically what happened is we uh, we just had terrible rain. So we came down the mountain and we made a mistake. We, uh, we took a pass down the mountain from the last refuge, which is the video before, where we should have actually gone right and it would have taken us to, to the town where we started. Um, and we come down and then Tom realized about a couple hundred meters before we were at the bottom or 700 meters before we were at the bottom that we needed to go right so there was a trail so we was going to link up to it but then when we got there there was a sign post saying that uh, it's too dangerous and the trail had been closed so we just come down to Chamonix is where we, uh, where, we, uh, where we first ever started where we arrived so basically that our hike was finished and we were soaking wet so we hiked about, about two mile two three mile into uh, into town and went straight to McDonald's where it was dry that's something to eat and then uh, booked a hotel because we was going to go on the camping but we were just absolutely soaked I mean our, our stuff inside was dry but our clothes and everything were just nah just uh, and we just didn't fancy camping in that so uh, so we checked into hotel and uh, this is where I am uh, videoing from now so the TMB is over it's done I fly out in three days so tomorrow I'll check into a camping for two days and just take it easy, recuperate because I'm a bit tired. And that was it. It was a pretty pretty uh, pretty disappointing end of the day because the sights would have been beautiful because we're coming down in view of Mount Mont Blanc all the way. But obviously with the with the rain and everything we, we just couldn't see nothing. So it was just just hiking down down and down so what what was it? 
they're hiking down 1500 meters just just in rain which wasn't really fun so uh, that's it so I successfully completed the Tour de Mont Blanc the hardest hike I've ever done okay I'm pretty experienced in regards to hiking but that was much harder than anything I did in my 700 miles on the PCT and a lot harder than the hike in England so uh, yeah it was an awesome hike a hard hike but a well worth it hike so I hope you enjoy watching the, watching the videos as much as I've enjoyed making them so take care stay tuned and who knows where the next hike is we'll see bye